this short screencast shows you how to use Digo on Internet Explorer. So if you log on to digo.com, as you'll see up here in the address bar, and just click on Tools. As you click on Tools, there are the Browser Add-on section, and what we're looking for here is the Digo Toolbar. Click on the Digo Toolbar. Click on Install Toolbar. And it will ask you to download the toolbar, and it will also ask you to um, restart your browser once you've done it. Go through the necessary arrangements here. It'll ask you to sign in, and this is assuming that you have a username and password. And now we're in. So what we need to do now is to activate the toolbar. We just go and find Digo toolbar here and enable. So now you have your sign in uh, option that's open there. So once you've signed into Digo, your toolbar is now available to bookmark, highlight, capture, comment, send, read later, unread, and recent. And that's how simple it is to use your site. Just to show you how it will work in practice, let's go on to one particular website. Okay, on this particular website, um, to bookmark it, we just click bookmark, add it in here. It's to do with Republic, it's to do with Sport, um, it's to do with Ireland, and it's also to do with uh, McCarthy. So that's how it is here. We can save it there. It's as simple as that. We can highlight some of the text. Or if we want, we can um, save this image to Digo as well. All right. What that will do is that will save the image uh, that's there and the reference to the website that you can use at a later stage. That's three of the quick functionalities under Internet Explorer that you can use. For more information, please log on to enhancingteaching.com.